run an embassy to the United Arab Emirates, Emirates rather, say that they are perturbed by the could-be number of citizens in the country suffering from COVID-19, but that to date they have not yet received any cases. Uh, this could be early too early rather to detect. Now, as of this Monday, Rwanda's COVID-19 patients were at 36, and of course, this evening, the number has just risen to 40. Now, 14 of those who arrived in Rwanda from Dubai. Now, the ambassador of Rwanda to the UAE, Abu Dhabi, Emmanuel Hatayika, explains and portrays to us the picture to our colleague, Dive Wayo, even as the world continues to battle this virus. We have about 25 students here that are now under isolation because the schools are closed. I spoke to them yesterday and they confirmed that they are all fine. We have other Rwandans who live here and they are okay. Those who have been affected the most are those who come on tourist visas because they stay here for a short time and they meet a lot of people. We have sensitized them and most have gone back to Rwanda, only that most of them were found positive with the COVID-19 coronavirus. The Rwandans that are here have no confirmed cases, but we might have some cases because those who visit here stay with them and live in the same house, so it could be possible, but we have no symptoms as yet. The issue is that it is expensive here to get treatment if you do not have an insurance plan. Will it be easy for them to get treatment for themselves? For those who can't afford that, what happens? We have three categories of Rwandans here. The first one is of those that have residence. These ones have insurance. The second is students, and they too have insurance. The third category is the one of those with tourist visas. Most of these don't have insurance and they might have a problem. Those who can will pay for their hospitalization, but if they can't, we have a large community here and we will come together and help them out. Now, so far, at least 200 people have been recorded to have COVID-19, while two have succumbed to the disease in the United Arab Emirates.